and so I have a couple Asian friends and I've heard from a lot of Asian men uh, that they struggle with dating and they find that they encounter a lot of women who either by their own ad, uh, admission, admission that they don't find them attractive or they've, they've even told me that even some Asian women don't find them attractive. Looking at you, Madison. Um, wow, Madison. So did you, uh, did you ever feel that you struggled with dating because you were Asian? You were handsome. I mean, as you're hell. you're like six two. Well, you're you, a stud. You guys are but, seeing this are incarnation of me. Sure, I'll post on Instagram me as a ten year old kid. Okay, you know, no nobody looked at that guy, that kid. Yeah, that but, chubby yeah, yeah. Asian looking kid with the bowl haircut. Mm. Nobody looked at that guy and thought it would be this guy. Gotcha. Um, so when I started dating, is when I also started lying about my race. Okay. It was like when I was a freshman in high school because mm -hmm. I was teased when I was, um, you know, fifth, sixth grade, yeah. you know, slanted eyed rice picker. Oh, no. Rice again. All the jokes. Even though I was half Asian, I grew up in Orange County, an all white area. Right. So um, I, when I when I changed high schools and I moved to Santa Ana, I made up a new story. I'm not Asian. I'm Hawaiian. I'm a surfer. And I grew oh. my hair out and I became, you know, cool. I became this Hawaiian surfer, a cool guy. And that was kind of an identity I kept. And then when I moved to Hollywood, I was long hair. I was Native American. Mm. I was anything but not to be Asian because it was painful, those memories of kids teasing me. Mm. And, um, you know, it, and that hurt my mom. My mom, you know, was born in Japan. I was born in Japan. And the fact that I lied about my race, my heritage really, really hurt her. So... In, on American Gladiators, we went and did a show in Japan towards the end of American Gladiators. And I made it my goal to go on the Japanese version of Gladiators and speak in Japanese to make my mother proud. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd only seen my mom cry two times because my mom's Asian, you know, Japanese, and they don't show their emotion. She cried once when I was 10 years old and my 12-year-old brother died in my arms. He got electrocuted. She cried. And the next time she cried was when I was 27 years old, when she saw me on TV speaking Japanese. Mm. You know, so um, I did not feel that women didn't date me because I was Asian because I lied about it. Mm. I don't now. Now I'm so proud of my heritage. It took me like maybe till sure. I was 28. Because I mean, I like I said, I've heard from a lot of my Asian friends. They they feel that it's difficult for them. Maybe there's some sort of uh, stereotyping or some degree hot? of discrimi discrimination um they're like normal guys I, that's i'd why. say that's um, why it's not because they're asian okay, they're just normal they're looking. just normal they're guys just no like, I, i've heard that before no but yeah. i mean i've heard that before that you know it's hard that white a lot of uh, caucasian girls don't like asians and even asian girls don't like asian men but i think that's a stereotype mm -hmm. that's okay going away a little bit more mm. Cause, yeah, but I, mean, I don't like Asian yeah. women. I won't date huh? Asian women. You won't, huh? No. It really? Reminds me, it reminds me of my mother and my sister. Oh. I mean, and I, my daughter. So what I, what I previously said on a different episode was that I've oh. never, like I'm not opposed to the whole dating an Asian man. I have a boyfriend, so I obviously wouldn't go for an Asian man right now. But I've never really found myself like gravitating towards one. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't think it was that offensive. I mean, be, Look, you're attracted like, to what you're attracted yeah. to. Like my, the very first, like the two guys I first ever liked in my entire life were like half Asian. Okay. But it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I you know. You stepped on the I, wild side. I think just half. Diversity is beautiful. I'm not discriminating or anything. <laughs> it's okay, Madison, yeah, it's I, right. th I think. Look, I look at this yeah, generation. You're I, me. I feel like they're more <laughs> colorblind than we were growing up. I feel like it's more inclusive now. At least mm -hmm. you know that's kind exactly. of what I see. When you know, I talk to my twelve-year-old stepson. It's not like, "Ooh, I don't like her. She's Asian." "Ooh, I don't like her. She's black." You know, it's just yeah. like, "Oh, I kind of like her." Exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but I think even kids. I mean, before we wrap this thing up, I think kids don't see color really. I think that our society teaches them to see color. Mm. You know, but when you're growing up, you don't see color unless yeah. your parents do. Yeah. It comes yeah. from your parents, right? I mean, same thing with pretty much anything across the board. 
Mm. So. And for the when you guys uh, did a show in Japan, was it like a one-time show? Were you there too? Did you I go to Japan? I actually or? passed up that opportunity. Okay. I didn't keep hearing. She didn't like Asian men. I didn't like uh, Asian okay. men. So like, what no. about actually, Asian I just women? didn't want to take it. No. Asian women. Uh, yeah. What about Asian women? Yeah. I think some of them are beautiful. Have, have you ever hooked up with an Asian women? No, but I no? think they're beautiful. Never. No, wow. I just it never really? it never presented itself. It just itself. never happened. It just never presented itself. I don't. I mean, if the girl's beautiful, it's not yeah. like I'm gonna go. Oh God, no, you're Asian. I mean, okay, no. yeah. you're missing out. <laughs> Look, I have, Asian women. I have male friends. We call it what yellow <laughs> fever. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. all they do. Is a uh, mm-hmm. my buddy Tony Brill. That's all he would do all through college, and he married an Asian woman. He just mm-hmm. only had eyes for Asian women. There could be the most beautiful model, you know, right next to him, and mm-hmm. you know, Caucasian. He'd be like, nope, Asian. Mm-hmm. Wait, just a point of clarification, like, because when we say Asian, it's like there's Asian American and then there's women from who've grown up in Asia, like from Japan, Korea, South Korea, mm-hmm. well, I suppose North North Korea too, uh, Vietnam, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so like never even a, like an Asian American woman, just no, never. Any. Never presented itself. Okay. Just never presented yeah, sure, itself. Sure. Yeah, okay, so it's gotcha, not like, gotcha. you know, obviously one came on to me. I was like, oh, God, no, no, never. No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> never, never presented. Think, it just never happened. No, it just it never, never happened. It never happened. I, I yeah. think Asian women are, are beautiful. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on yeah, that. I, yeah, I, they are. I see Asian women are beautiful. I, look, I think every race has beautiful women. Yeah, you yeah. Know, of course. I, I've seen every race. Like, there's, there's, there's beauty. Mm. There's beauty out there. 